If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. You don't have to be an accountant in order to use Sage 50, but you must have a basic understanding of some simple business bookkeeping and accounting concepts before entering information into the program. What you will examine next are the types of accounts shown in a company's balance sheet. A balance sheet is a report that shows a company's financial health as of a given date. The three major types of accounts in a balance sheet are assets, liabilities, and equity. The balance sheet is one of the most frequently requested financial reports for a company, and so it is important to understand what information it contains. First, you have assets. Assets are things of value that a company has on hand and what other people owe to it. More specifically, the money that people owe to a company is called Accounts Receivable, or AR for short. The other assets may include checking account money, inventory, fixed assets like computers for example, and undeposited funds from customers. You'll also see liabilities. Liabilities are what a company owes to others. A company's unpaid bills are specifically referred to as Accounts Payable, or AP for short. A liability can be a loan, an unpaid bill, or taxes owed. Equity is the difference between what a company has, its total assets, and what it owes, its total liabilities. The basic formula for calculating equity is total assets minus total liabilities equals equity. Equity is seen as representing the health of a business. After starting a new company, you must also decide which accounting method to use for tax reporting purposes. This determines when the company reports income and expenses to the IRS. The income and expense accounts and their balances appear in a financial report called the Income Statement. This report shows all income earned and expenses incurred over a selected time period. Please check with your tax advisor or the IRS before choosing an accounting method for tax purposes. As far as this affects general bookkeeping, there are two different accounting methods that are used. If you use the cash accounting method, the company records income when money is actually received and records expenses when bills are actually paid. However, if you are using accrual accounting, income is recorded at the time of sale, not when payment is received. Likewise, expenses are recorded when the expense is incurred, not when it is paid. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.